It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For today's video, I'm going to respond to feminist TikToker who is Jessica is wet for about a particular issue about yes, all men. So without further hesitation, I'll watch the video and get my own personal reaction to the whole entire thing. Dear men, listen while you look at them. The next time you ask yourself, uh, why do girls get to do that and guys don't? That sounds kind of unfair. Factor in the fact that 95% of sex crimes are committed by men. Redo the math on that and you'll have your answer, bitch. Well, I mean, I do have a math disability, but I think that's fucking called probability. And if your first thought when I said that is, well, I don't commit sex crimes and I would never hurt anybody. So why am I having to deal with the consequences of other men's actions? So what you're going to need to do about that is you're going to have to go back to the group of men that you don't want to be associated with and you're going to have to fix them. Okay, you're going to tell them, hey guys, this is what a sex crime is. Because I know, I know I said I've never committed a sex crime, but there's a common issue where men don't even know they've committed a fucking sex crime. They just thought that was normal. So you got to tell them what a sex crime is. You got to tell them, don't do that. And when grandpa makes a joke about it and the five-year-old is like, what? You say, don't, that's bad, Grandpa. Don't say that again. You see, if you don't want to be associated with the probability of men, then you got to fix the probability of men. The first thing I merely noticed in the video is the fact that she claimed that over 95% of men are guilty of sex crimes. But is that really the case in terms of the numbers? These numbers come directly from the CDC. When it comes down to those who are reported to be raped, about 1.6% of women have been reported to be raped. Meanwhile, for made for penetration, there are no women that have been reported to be made to penetrate. Meanwhile, for the case of men, it's been reported that 1.7% of men have been made to penetrate, but for some strange reason, they're not necessarily adding the numbers of made to penetrate for the case of men. Additionally, the number for both male and females are very similar. For the case of female, we have over 1,473,000 victims of rape. And for the case of males, for made to penetrate, we have over 1,715,000 victims. In other words, it seems as though that the numbers that she used throughout the video have been really inaccurate and very misleading according to the data as provided by the CDC. Additionally, on her TikTok page, she has made plenty of content criticizing the Bible and Christianity, and she comes directly from a Christian background and considers herself to be an atheist like me. According to Genesis chapter 2 and 3, it says that both Adam and Eve were tempted by the snake, and so what happened is that they got the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, they took the bite from the fruit, and all of a sudden everybody, including all mankind, are direct sinners and have original sin because of the actions of Adam and Eve. Her argumentation right here is saying that because of the actions of a few men, basically a few men according to the data, therefore everybody should feel guilty and shame because of the actions of a few. And that idea to me is very much awful. I consider myself to be an individualist, and that is to say that I value the freedom of action of individuals over the collective or state control. And to me, when I hear stuff like, yes, all men, or all cops are bastards, to me, that seems to be a bit of a form of collective guilt or collective shame based upon that ideology. Now, according to the data, it seems as though that most black people have committed the most crime in comparison to other races and they make about 14 percent of the population is it now fair to me to say yes all black people because of the actions of a minority based upon the data points i will say no not in the slightest because it's not necessarily a good idea to demonize other people based upon characteristics last time i checked it seemed as though that a holocaust actually happened because Adolf Hitler thought that the best way to, of course, blame everything on the 
I guess the oppression of the German people was say all Jews are X, Y, and Z and end up happening in concentration camps. And so when you use rhetoric like that, it gets very, very dangerous once you collectivize other people. Additionally, according to the data, it shows that most people that kill their children happen to be women. So I guess hashtag guess all women for that particular uh, case. In conclusion, she got the data wrong and she basically collectivized entire groups of people based upon something they cannot possibly control. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I would <laughs> <try to laughs> <run> <laughs> Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.